Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a waterfall chart. It's also known as a bridge chart or a cascade chart. And in Excel 2016, it actually makes it really easy to create these type of charts. Prior to Excel 2016, they didn't have this chart in its menu of items. And I do have another video that shows how to create a waterfall chart if you have something uh, before 2016. But since I have 2016 here, I'm going to show you how to create uh, two examples uh, of the waterfall chart. Now this one, a very simple example, and this one I'm going to get into a little bit more complexity there. Let's go to the first example here. Now this first example, it could be a cash flow. Actually, I can probably just, I'd rather call this more of a quantity flow since I'm talking about, maybe I'm just talking about quantity flow. So maybe we're talking about a uh, quantity of items that we have in inventory. We bought and sold, bought and acquired. And all you need to do to create a waterfall chart here is just select anywhere within your range of data, go to insert and select under the charts group the particular waterfall chart. And you'll notice that it's actually pretty easy to create. It's just one click and you've got it. Now we have the different color schemes that indicate whether we have an item that's positive or negative. Now you'll notice that the legend here says there's an increase, blue is an increase, this red or orange is a decrease and this gray is a total. And that's one of the things in this particular chart really are totals when you think about it are in the beginning or end and you would have to redefine them as a total to get that gray color scheme. And I'll kind of show this in the next example. But if all you had was very simple data like this and you wanted to create a waterfall chart to kind of visually identify where we're going with quantities, in this example quantities, this will show you how to do that. Now let's get into a little bit more complex example. Really it's not that much more complicated, but I'll show you some additional features that you can use in the waterfall chart. This next example is an income statement. We have our revenues, cost of sales, and in, in actuality we have a couple totals here. Uh, we have a revenues total. Actually I should make that green too. So let me click here, format paint, copy click the format painter and I'll just copy the formatting which is that green background fill. So we actually have a couple totals here. This first total which is the revenue, the second total which is gross profit and this operating profit, this income before tax and this this net profit. They're all kind of totals or subtotals when you think about it in a, in a statement. Now to create the waterfall chart, same thing as we did before, go under insert and we have our waterfall chart. So as we had it before, we have these color schemes which Excel uses, which is basically the office, the standard office color scheme. If we wanted to make this identify more with the legend, we have to turn some of these into totals. Like I, have, I mentioned before, revenue and gross profit are totals. So we'd have to make these totals. You notice here we have our revenue. I'm going to right click that. Whoops and right click again because it's selected all the series of data. Let me let me not right click it, but left click it. We click it once, we click it again. Now it just selects that data. Everything's kind of uh, grayed out a little bit. Now I right click it and go to set as total. And now you notice that it's grayed out. It's picked up that particular gray. So it recognizes that's a total. So I have to do the same for the other uh, values that represent totals or subtotals. So the gross profit's the same, click that and then right click set as total and where's my other one which is the operating profit click on that right click set as total and do the same for the other ones income before tax uh, left click and then right click set as total left click to select that right click and then set as total now they're all totals so that takes care of that now we have some instances where these are decreases right so we have these decreases here we don't have any increases here in this particular example, but let me go and change that later on to show you an example of how we change the colors here. So if we didn't want this red color, we want this orange color, we wanted something, something like a, a, a traditional red, a deep red, and then a, for any minuses or negative values, and a green for positive values. We would look at this, you might have think, okay, I'm going to go in here, right click, whoops, I only selected that cell, let me select out of it. You might have thought, let me select out of it again. You might have thought, I just click on there and then right click and go under format data series and see if it shows up here, any colors show up here. So it really doesn't. When you think of, when you think about it, if I click on fill and select some fill color, I want to select that red. 
it turns everything red because it just sees the whole series of data that red controls you to undo that the way to change the colors here is you would have to go under the page layout because what it does is it takes this color scheme from the colors template so I'm gonna go under customize color it's taking right now from the office the office template here right if I really wanted to change the colors, I have to customize a little bit so I click on customize colors let's move this aside here and close this whoops now that's up so let's leave that the colors that you really only need to worry about changing are the three accents accent one two and three you'll notice that the color scheme here blue is aligns to increase here this orange aligns to decrease and this total aligns to this total here so if we looked at, at, at increases as green all I need to do is just change that color to green nothing's going to show up here because there's no increases but if I look at accent 2 and change that to this really vivid red yeah it didn't affect it until I save it let me ch call this waterfall and click save and now it's changed it right so we have our green here we have our red here so that shows you that uh, the decreases are red very traditional in financial statements right so another thing we can do is kind of change uh, the graph a little bit uh, if we don't want these to be that thick if we want it to be a little skinnier let me click on one of the one of the columns here and go to the series options you can change the gap width if you want to make it a little bit bigger or the, the gap with it, the gap with bigger, the width between uh, the columns or get bigger here, or if you want to make it smaller, it will show you that. Now I also have this option. There's also this option where it show, says show connector lines. You can hardly see it, but it, when it's selected, you can see that there's this little connector line. If you don't want that line to show up, you just uncheck it and it doesn't show up. Usually it looks better when you have it there because you get an idea of like where it crosses, right? if you remove the the grid lines here it makes it even more readily apparent that you have these connectors lines so if I click on the connector or the grid lines there and press delete uh, those disappear and now you can see these connector lines a little bit better now as I mentioned before the green shows up here but since we don't have any additions to the uh, the data here we just have our totals and then our cost of sales it doesn't really show up let me go back to the quantity flow example here and you notice that it's added that that particular template here and it shows up because uh, it sees these as increases I didn't there's no totals here but I can just select the opening as a total select that select it again everything else is grayed out except that right click and go set as total and select this one left click and then right click set as total and now you notice that uh, it kind of shows up a little bit better here in this example where we have our totals at the beginning and the end and our increases show up as green and our decreases show up as red so that's your basic waterfall chart now a thing about these waterfall charts is that the chart titles you'd have to type it in itself uh, there's in, in other charts that you may have noticed in Excel you can reference a you can reference the wording in another cell here you just type the equal sign and you can reference a cell here for the chart title but you can't do it in here that's one limitation of a waterfall chart in Excel 2016 if you send this file to someone that doesn't have Excel 2016 they will not see this chart so that's one uh, that's another limitation of this particular chart uh, a workaround to that is you can take this particular chart and copy it as a image do control C to copy this click outside of it and then in under home go to paste and you can paste it as an image so you have a image here just as image but this is not the, the data behind there's not tied to the table here so that's one way to get around it or you just put it into a PowerPoint so that's another limitation if, if your colleagues that you're sharing with don't have Excel 2016 they won't see this nice little chart that you created and you'd have to do the work around so that's an, that's the way that we can create a waterfall or a bridge chart in Excel 2016 I hope that helps thanks for watching